The main event, Ricky Steamboat versus Vader for the WCW title in a human cage match. The first set of, and I'm not making this up, this is how they were introduced. Human cage men. <laughs> Excuse me. Human cage men? That is what he said. Wow. The human cage men. The equalizer. Max Payne. Harlem Heat. And Sid Vicious. And then on the other side of the ring, Dustin Rhodes, Arn Anderson, the British Bulldog, the Shockmaster, and Sting. Oh, Sting was out there. That was amazing. Like you know, they have like uh, La Parca, and then there's like La Parquita, the mini version of them. Sure, sure. How do they not have a mini for Max Payne? Mini Payne. Yeah, Mini Payne, or just Min Payne. Either way, some little pork chop. M Payne. Yeah. Kind of like flying Brian P. Right. That doesn't sound familiar. So these guys are doing a match. As noted, Vader is not cut out to do an 18-minute match here on TV no. with Rick Steamboat. It, it's, it, it's so bad that towards the end, Steamboat looked great. <laughs> Steamboat was the best guy in the show by a mile. And he, he's here in 1993. Basically, the living legend of the show at this point. I guess Flair's on here, too. But, but he's... Uh, He's firing up with chops and punches, and he's throwing punches to the head, and Vader is sagging in the corner, huffing and puffing, and he's not even moving his head. It's not a no-sell. He just can't do anything. He can barely move. <laughs> they, they, they I will no say, though, I will say before this guy got tired, Vader, before he gets tired, is fucking awesome. Sure, and sure. I would like to, uh, I guess I need to talk to somebody that wrestled Vader that was a star. Because if you look at Vader with non-stars, I mean, he just beats the shit out of them and he practically them. fucking kills them. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would guess he did not go in there and kill Ricky Steamboat. Sure. But at the same time, this guy's clubbering fucking punches are yes. so awesome. Yes. He's in there, he throws the uppercuts to the bottom, and he just a big boom, boom, these big clubbering forearms to the guy's head. It looks so great. And I presume he was not killing Ricky Steamboat. You'd like to think so. But he killed many a man with those clubbering bear-like forearms. Uh, it, the, the, the very next week on the uh, pay-per-view, he killed a man. Well, yeah. Well, it's Cactus. Many people have killed Cactus Jack. That's that's true. <laughs> he dies kills, a lot. He kills Ric Flair at the end of the year. That's, that's also true. Yeah. So even the announcers are noting that Vader's out of gas. As Jesse put it, he's quick when he's up on his feet. But when he's down on all fours, he's a slow man. <laughs> Which is funny because, like, he wasn't quick on his feet either. Uh, he was never quick after about the 12-minute no. mark. No. So guys Maybe get ten. thrown outside, and they kind of get gently rolled back in, and there's some tension between the, 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 the lumberjacks or the, the human cage men. But there's never, like, the full-on battle royal like you would see in a WWE lumberjack match. So finally, and I do mean finally. Finally, I like I, I when, when the first time I checked the clock to see how much time was left, there was ten minutes. I about fell out of my chair. I was done with this match by then. It kept on going. So, uh, Steamboat does the cactus body press. So both guys go tumbling outside to the baby face side of the cage men. And this is a melee because Vader's huge. It takes all ten guys to get him up. Steamboat just rolls back in the ring on his own volition. But as all the cage men and the referee are distracted by Vader. Sid comes in the other way. He lays out Steamboat with a power bomb, and Vader is able to hit one splash and get the win in a match that took forever. <laughs> you know, I didn't hate this match at all, but I, it was the same thing. Like, I was watching this show, and I was actually watching it on a walk. I walked around Cannon Beach and watched this. Well, show. nobody hit, that would have been much better. Well, yeah, and I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm constantly looking at my watch because I'm thinking, God, this fucking show is going on forever. <laughs> and uh, finally, they come out for the main event, and I think, oh, it must be almost over. And I look at my watch, and there's like 30 fucking minutes left of the show. I'm like, what in the fuck's going on? So they do long ass entrances, and it's still there's 20 minutes left on the show. Yeah. Yep. So I'm watching the match, and about 10 minutes in, I'm thinking, like, is there a post match big angle? Because they ain't going 10 more minutes. And they keep going and going. And now Vader's taking his mask off. And now Vader puts him in a long chin lock at, like, the 15-minute mark. There's only three minutes left in the show, and he's got him in this long uh, this long chin lock. So I'm just wondering, like, is this ever going to end? And then finally they do the finish, and it ends. And uh, this did not need to go. No. In any universe, 18 minutes. 
minutes. Way too long. So you know how Vader has the the long tights, and then he's got trunks that he pulls up over it. Sure. To cover and, the words. Yeah. So my son comes in. He looks at the screen. He goes, "Who is the Adder?" Yeah. Who is Aid? <laughs> Who is the? Is adder? he the Gator Aid? Is a Gator like, on the other leg? I'm like, you mean like a snake? <laughs> yeah. Very, who's the very, Adder? And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, oh, I get it. <laughs> a very jumbo black Adder. <laughs> yes. So there you go. Yeah, I, I didn't hate this match at all, but no, it easily went twice as long as it needed to, maybe more. And, and no, as a, a selling point for the pay-per-view, this show sucked. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.